Alright guys, so I just took this for a test run. I basically just sanitized the machine with nothing in it. Um, I just had the tongs in there. So I read a little bit of the instructions. Don't mind the mess everywhere, but I it said to wash all the parts first. So I know I haven't used them obviously, but I still did that. I washed everything with soapy water, uh, laid them on a clean surface here and I'm going to put these items in here and put it through a cycle so um, what you need to do this is still hot because I just finished the cycle but you ooh, you can already see scaling so it did say to use distilled water for best results. Now I may start doing that because that was tap water and already yikes. Okay, so this is a little bit filtered water, but it says to fill to the fill line there. Dump it in the bottom. Do not overfill. And then you place the tray. But what I'm going to do is we're going to fill up the tray first. So, let's see if I can put you guys there. Make some room first. Alright, so I've got some non Dr. Brown's bottles here. These are my breast pump bottles. And then these are the Dr. Brown's bottles I have. Okay, so they all fit in there. Um, those here are for the valves, it looks like. So, yep. So this is why I wanted to get the Dr. Brown's ones, because we were going to have Dr. Brown's bottles. Because it has a place for the actual valves there. In there. And you have to press this button to open and close, which is a bit confusing at first. Okay, so I've got three nipples, um, bottle caps, bottle necks, lids, tops of the valves, four binkies, and my breast pump uh, valve or whatever. I don't know if this thing can go in or not. So, I'm really not sure if I can put this in. Does it come off? Because I know you can just buy these little membrane things. Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm going to take that off and just put this piece in. All right. So I'm going to put all these in the top and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I ended up doing was putting the breast pump valve, kind of, you can see it laying across the top there um, because it's definitely not going to fit up here but I was glad that there's a little bit of room because I do have the shorter bottles of the Dr. Browns in there so it is fitting just gonna have everything else and just placed all along things now let's see if this closes I haven't tested that all right so you have to press the button all right no, it's not closing. Okay. I thought it was. Let's see. Let's try that again. Alright, yes, that's closed. Alright, so, then you go down here, and we turn it on. Alright, and so it goes through all the lights there. And so, this means it's ready, this means it's heating, this means it's cooling down, and then this means, again, it's ready to be finished. So, you put water in, which is important, you have to do that first. You hit play, and this is supposed to take 8 minutes. Now, I didn't time it, but it is 1.52 right now, and I just about pressed it, and what I will do is... 
I'll come back when I think it's close to the end and you'll see what these kind of cycle through as and you can kind of hear it heating up and going about its business if you listen now you can hear it heating up all right so I'll be back when I think that's almost done. I don't know if you can see this but there is steam escaping from the holes in the top it does sound like it's kind of winding down now yes most definitely Two oh one. That means cooling down. All right, still two oh one. So not bad. It was not far off from the eight minutes, or maybe. They didn't include the cooling down process. Now you press the off button. It is still extremely hot and there's still steam escaping from this sucker. So I am not going to try to open it at the exact moment. What I am going to do is first unplug it. Because I am done with that. Now I did have to switch my coffee pot and this just to be closer to the outlet because of the short cord and wanting to have it close enough away from cabinets um, for these steam holes so keep that in mind and what I learned the hard way was opening this one is much harder than opening this one first so while it's still really hot if you need to open it or feel like it'll help cool it down a lot faster you're going to want to open it from there but I'm going to use a tea towel because I don't want to burn myself so in order not to burn myself I'm going to use this tea towel to open it and I still kind of burn myself <laughs> of course so there's the bottom part and I didn't even think about this but yeah all the stuff is in the top and I just opened it like that so you're probably not supposed to do that yep definitely not Learned through my mistakes there don't open this one first <laughs> unless you have nothing up there um, but do use the tea towel when you open that um, I would suggest probably opening it to help cool this down a lot faster but now you're supposed to use the tongs <laughs> so I'm going to use the tongs to remove all the items and place them on a drying uh, surface because of course they need to air dry to be sanitized thanks for watching and uh, tune in for the next one guys thanks